Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can customize bulleting or numbering on a per paragraph basis by first selecting the paragraphs in a text containing object to change it. The other way to do this is to select the entire object to change all bullets or numbering for all paragraphs within the object. However, in this case, I'm only going to select the amount of text where I want the bullets. After making your selection, you can apply custom bullets or numbering. To do this, click the drop-down button next to either the bullets or numbering buttons in the paragraph button group on the home tab in the ribbon. Depending on which button you clicked, you will see either the bulleted or numbered tab. You can click either tab to switch between them. On the bulleted tab, click a bullet in order to place bullets into your paragraph. To pick a character bullet, click the Customize button to open the Symbol dialog box. Next, use the Font drop-down to select a bullet font like Wingdings. Then click the character to use as your bullet from the listing shown. Click the OK button to set the character as your new bullet and return to the Bullets and Numbering dialog box. Next, set the percentage of the size of the adjacent text you want the bullet to be by using the size spinner. You can either use the arrows or type in a value on your keyboard. Then use the color drop-down to set the bullet color. Click the OK button to apply the bullets to the selected paragraphs. To pick a picture bullet instead of a character bullet, click the picture button to open the picture bullet dialog box. Then click one of the bullets in the list of picture bullets to select it. Then click the OK button to close both dialog boxes and apply your picture bullet to the selected paragraphs. You will notice that we can either select a picture from a file, from clip art, a Bing image search, or the SkyDrive. You can click the Numbered tab to customize the numbering applied to selected paragraphs. Start by selecting the numbering or sequential lettering style to customize from the listing shown. Set the percentage of the size of the adjacent text you want the numbering to be by using the size spinner. Then, use the color drop-down to set the numbering color. Then click the OK button to apply the numbering to the selected paragraphs. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.